Hiya, my name is Kaya and I'm a knitter and I guess also a crocheter from Berlin in Germany. And first of all, I hope you all have a happy and healthy new year, lots of crafting time and some yarn that you like <laughs> and projects you love. And yes, um, today is a small change of scenery. Um, I'm in my living room and this is my dining table, or which is quite large because I needed a big one because I love to play board games. <laughs> That's why it's large. And I changed the scenery because, well, it's a more practical than sitting on my desk and more space and I like the background better. Anyhow, well, I already said it, Happy New Year. If I look a bit tired, it's because I'm still fighting with the outliers of flu, or not a flu, but a cold, which is quite annoying. But I was really tempted to make a video for quite a while. And yeah, here we are. It's not the standard podcast, but it's an um, actual update on my 12 cast on 2022, which is a uh, make along by Rainbow Edge or Angela of Yarn Yarns. And she has a YouTube channel, Small Chop in Wales and also a page, Patreon page. She has Patreon, whatever. Yes, and every year she hosts a make -alon, which is called the 12 castles. And the last one was in 2022. That's why it was called 2020, 12 castles 2022. And yeah, so what you get to do is that you can make as well cast on as many projects as you want, up to 12 between Christmas Eve and I think it's January, January 31st. I think so, roughly, I, I think that's it. And I wanted to record this video before I talk about, my, about, before I talk about, about, boy, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Before I talk about my 12 cast on 2024, yes, there's a span of two years in between because she decided to call the new make along or the, this year's make along 2024. So oh, it's less confusing because most of it is in 2024. Yes, and before I share my projects for 2024, I thought it's time to, and my making goals, of course, making and stash goals. It's time to give you and me an overview of the projects I made, finished, rocked, um, which have been turned into UFOs and there's even one that was taken out of hibernation the other day. No clue where this motivation came from. Well, so I have a small list of my projects and the first one on my list is the Ali sweater by Sarah Opie. There was a small bark in between which I would cut out. Bark came from me, not from Pico. He's not here. Well, anyhow. The Ali sweater is a Raglan Colorwork sweater and was, I think it was the very first project I've cast on and one I was really keen on having. And I started it with um, this color as the main color, which is a hand dyed cotton, I think it's paper cotton, by Pico Yarns. That was a coincidence it's there. Um, um, who I think her name is Kate and she's um, a Swedish dyer. 
and has some um, plant-based yarns and also some wool etc but she has some really lovely colors and they're quite moody yeah <laughs> that was smart it's not pima it's 100 mercerized cotton 100 gram is 240 meters and yeah i didn't swatch because i was like well i don't feel like making a swatch with um, color work and i'm all, I actually I, i'm not a color work expert well not yet the status of the project is it's fucked i will insert a picture of it because um, the problem was that um i inserted here or here i don't know yet the problem of the project was it's um that the uh, contrast color between my main and contrast color the contrast between my main and contrast color was too low because the contrast is also a variegated colorway and it just didn't work out so i'm also not quite sure whether i want variegated yarn as a main color for a full project so i'm really torn what to do was it but i really want the project but on the other hand i have like a billion other projects on my needles yeah um i i um went through my stash and found a different contrast color which i quite like was it just this um it's a slightly variegated gray which i used in the comfort fade i know it's a it's a yarn by Malabrigo and I only have this um, cake left and it's not full and I would need a second one but I didn't buy it yet so um, I have to see, see when I take this back on my needles ah and it's Malabrigo Virano their cotton yarn which is super soft they have a nice range of colors and yeah I think this um, combination would work out quite well. Um, yeah, but I I gotta see because I don't know yet. Maybe I should make a cardigan out of the main color. I really don't know. Have you any? Have you gotten any suggestions for me? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm a bit planless. So number one is frogged, but I want to do it again. Number two <laughs> is also a Colorworks project and has the same status. It's frogged. I use these two yarns. Um, uh, it's Play Arts by Wigan Yarn. The socken. Sorry, I'm not gonna cut this out. I'm only cutting out if I go, 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 if I have to go. <laughs> it's the sock yarn, and this is um, neon bubblegum, and I think this is either ah, it's manga dark. So I was pl planning to make the um, lab cap by Park Williams, but once again. It was too. T this one was didn't have uh, any contrast issues, but it was a gauge issue and it was too tight and didn't look nice. So I think I will do some color work socks out of this at one point, and I will knit the um, head with a different yarn at any other point in the future. Who knows? Time will tell. The third project is without needles because I didn't swatch <laughs> and this is supposed to be the um, when, when did it change um the outline tank by Jessie May and in the cotton linen base and the problem is I didn't swatch and it's too oversized for my liking so I have to measure the gauge at one point and have to start over again. So that's why I didn't frog it yet. It's still in my running whips because 
I wanted for other and we need it again, so that's why. See you. And the yarn is Cody by Punk Rock Unicorn. It's 60% uh, organic linen, uh, organic cotton, 40% linen base, and 100 gram equals 350 meters. And the name is Party Party Kicks. It's like Party Cuckoo. And it has this lovely speckles. I mean, so gorgeous. I really like it. It's it's a neutral, but not a boring neutral. Yeah, so I knit it again at one point. And I really like how the stitches look. Even unblocked the cotton linen base. It's nice. Yeah, but once again, going to be proud. But all these three projects I want to knit again, so it's not the fault of the project or the patterns, it's the fault of the knitter. Number four is a project I didn't work yet, but I also didn't get quite far. It's in a bag I bought at one point. I by Voluminous, I think she's German project bag maker. I don't know. I like it. I wouldn't buy there again because she has too much Harry Potter content for my liking, and I don't want to support that. Yes, and anyhow, the project. I'm. I ha I haven't touched since the cast on is I'm in the middle of a row, of course. My travel travel mode number two point zero by Susanne Sommer, who is so so nits. Oh that's the back. Let's let's show the front. And as you can see, I'm not that far yet. And usually those are not my colors. Oh, this is not going to be frog. This is going to be cat. But yeah, last year was somehow not a year for me for shorts. And the yarns are, I'm going to show you, by Wintertaktraum, which is, who is the lovely Nova from Austria. And this has been her advent in, in in 2022. So, not my signature colors for sure. I think hardly any, any at all. But I like them. And the variation, 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 whatever. Yeah, and this was her advent in 2022 where you opened a package each each Sunday and on Christmas Day and on Christmas Eve well as you like it in Germany we celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve so that's when I opened it and it was called Aunora Borealis which is really fitting for Northern Lights and her name is Nova so, so here we go and this is a cotton no it's not it's a bamboo linen base which quite a few vegan dyers have and she also dyes um, but this is her weekend base. Yeah, this is gonna be continued for sure at one point. Who knows? But the why I really like the idea of um, one of what the reasons is by Angela is that I get to cast on projects I really want to have. Well, sometimes I frog them, but um. Quite often I cast some, I, I plan something and then I don't cast it on and it stays there like forever. It stays an idea in my head forever. So this way you get to put things on your needles and I don't really have a pro problem with lots of projects in, on my needles in general. Sometimes I, I'm in the mood for finishing some stuff. Sometimes I'm in the mood for 
casting on new things and yeah. And since I am recording this quite spontaneous, I have to take my socks off my feet. At least one of them. <laughs> and sorry. Those are the Mermaid Avenue socks by Summer Lee. And the yarn is Vegan Yarn UK and a custom date color custom dyed colorway for me. And yeah. I love petrol blue or teal, as you would call it in English, and must be yellow. And um, yeah, I got this yarn dyed for me. And once I saw the pattern, I knew this is it. This um, pattern and this yarn is a match made in heaven. No? Number six. It's also done. Uh, some simple crochet. Um, what gloves? I I think I made three, four, maybe five. My friend Tina and I, we um, made each other in Advent in 2021 and 2022. And this was one of the yarns that I had in mind. And I used it up quite quickly for once. And I can't remember the yarn. It's an American cotton yarn because she was in the US that year and brought this from me. I put it in the show notes. And um, I also write it down here just so you know what it is. Yeah. Simple, easy. <laughs> the next project I have to insert a picture. Is it here or here? I figure out. I doubt at one point. And those are some vanilla socks for a friend she already got. And I knit, I think, a 41 or two and 64 stitches because she has quite relatively wide feet. And I used Regia Cotton Color 2040. And the colorway was, I think, pomegranate. I link my projects and then you can see the colorway I have everything on Ravelry and if you can't access Ravelry let me know I'm happy to tell you. Number eight. Getting there are um, the Outfox knits by Erika Häuser and they're in even tiny bit tight but Still okay. And we're one of my first projects and South look. I I think they're really cute. They're not super warm because it's again vegan young players. In the colorway Yakul, which is the red one, and rose quartz. And I think I need them with 2.5 millimeters or something like that. Relatively quiet, so Mm, they fit quite well. I really like making them. And I love them. Up next is a project I call Lana Grosser Ding. It's like Lana Grosser is a yarn company. And Ding is like a thing in German. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, um, I think I got this yarn like ages ago it was like one of my very first um, purchases i changed my opinion in between like 10,000 times needed some more yarn and then for the 12 cast ons i finally cast on the project and i didn't even know where i am um, apparently i finished the bag it's a simple striped sweater um Maybe it's also front, I don't know. Um, which is not really size inclusive, so I wouldn't get this pattern again or knit it again, but I have the yarn and I'm gonna make it, match it. And you use different kinds of yarns and needles. So, from the bottom one, this is um, 
Organico, this is quite a thick organic cotton, um, 50 grams, 90 meters. This is how to call the shade. Lovely, no purple, no red, no whatever. Then you change needles to a smaller one because you start with this fuzzy yarn and um, interchange it with um, sleek cotton yarn again several times. So in the original pattern you use a yarn with some, some wool in there in between. I didn't use it. And I got these two colorways for the cotton part and that's um, Lana Grossa Pima for obvious reasons this is um, Pima cotton and it's 50 gram 125 meters I got a few balls of this and the other yarn is discontinued I think okay. oh needle nice And that's um, about Berlin Funky, but you can still get it in some online shops. And it's like 50 grams, 130 meters. It's this interesting thread. I... It's not really nice to knit with. Um, I don't know whether you can see. Maybe I should take these off. Um, not so nice to knit with. But I um, really like the results, so the difference in texture. And I really hope this will fit because, again, it's um, pullover, knit in pieces. And I don't, I really haven't knit that many pieces that really fit me well. So there's always some issue. And yeah, anyhow. This is the, the whip, or right now it's rather in beautiful because I haven't worked on it in a while. Can't tell you the needles. I don't know, two different ones. And anyhow, doesn't make too much sense because it depends on gauge. Number 10, sorry for the printing, is a project with, which was in deep hibernation. And then, as I was thinking about my project for 2024, I um, picked this up again. And this is for a friend's son. And I'm also planning to make a project for the brother. So there's one more Amigurumi to be made. And this is going to be Hugo the Bat from Pika Pau. And last time I was like, when I was working on it quite a while ago, I had, there's one piece of arm missing, but I had the body. And the arms, well, there's a, there's a fourth one somewhere. I'm using different, um, Standard cotton is like a mixture of Hulana basic cotton, Strapius, Katona, Shachamaya, Catania. There's also in here mm -hmm. Strapius, Katona denim, which I have used for the wings. So I, I those were the things that brought me back to the project. I made this these the other days, the other day. So two things, obviously, and yeah, and there's for now only one ear and a bit. So so cute. Yeah, I'm not a big. I like to crochet, but I'm not a big amigurumi crocheter. So. I will find out hopefully soon whether I like to knit stuffed toys, but crocheting is like 
I hate love. I like the finished project. Not for me, because most of the time I don't have any use for it. But I like to make. Uh, I I like to gift it, but I don't always really like to make it. So that's my problem is I'm a gloomy, but I have more than enough cotton for that. I have <clears throat> one project from it, which I kept. This is Woody Woodpecker, um, who was the only project my grandma wanted to have. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I always thought I can said I can make something for you but she was like always no I don't need anything and then I gave her at one point Woody Woodpecker because she always liked birds and yeah maybe it was not the easiest project to start with because you work with up to three colors in one round <laughs> which worked out um yeah and I took him back to me when she died, um, so he has a special place in my heart. Yeah, so that was number 10. We're getting there. Number 11, second to last, is A faded pullover and my swatch is here. It's a custom swatch. I saw a different another knitter making this very same pattern with a custom fade from Birdie Knits. And then I asked her whether she can make me a fade as well. And I this was like yarn I bought pretty early in my knitting journey. And yeah, this was again one of the reasons why I wanted to cast this on because I had this really nice yarn. I love fades and speckles. And then um yeah. I asked whether she can make the the, um, the dye job for me and she did and here we go um yeah i was i'm yeah i was running or flying through the pattern in the beginning but then um i realized that my yoke is too short and i didn't quite know what to do because i was not that experienced with I, i'm still thinking that i'm not that experienced with sweater or garment knitting because knitting because there's always something wrong or not working out most of the time and which you can see in my next project and yes so that's why i have to check um i think i have to just have to extend the yoke and try this on again but yeah it's a bit difficult but i love the yarn it's super soft and the cotton fade as i said mm. I mean, who really knows? This is exactly the reason why I love Angela's project. Because you get to cast on things you always wanted to cast on. Here we go. And surprisingly, there are some teeth in there and some yellow still. Don't know how that happened. Yeah. So this is also one of the projects I'm a bit stuck with. I think I knit on this for a week or something and then I stopped and didn't know what to do. And it's in the project bag my friend Gina made for me with numbers and math. I love it. Yeah, project number 12 is The Humor by Knit in Terrapin Fiberworks ter um, Potomac Fingering 
which is a cotton linen blend with super soft. It knits up a bit like, not like a finger ring, but maybe sportish, close to sport weight. Super soft, the color wears historic district, I think. And it's, it pits a bit, you know? Maybe because it's soft, but I have just have to deepen it. But anyhow, I am going to frog this again at one point because the neckline is way too wide for my liking and it's too big on me. Something maybe I didn't swatch. It's um, way too large and I don't like it to be that oversized and it's always slipping off one shoulder and too much fabric in the back, etc. So I guess I measure my gauge again at one point, deep it, and then I frog it. But I've been saying this since I finished the project. You know, I've been wearing it anyhow with it quite a few times, so this doesn't really mean a thing. Yeah, so I'm um, sorry for small interruptions in between. Those were my 12 project 2022 because um, I was I'm still fighting with my cold. Um, yeah, but I hope you like it anyhow. Like it anyhow. And the next thing I will film, I'm uh, most likely either my cast and swap 2024. Spoiler, I'm not gonna cast and swap projects because I don't have that many needles for me. And also I have quite a few from last year, so I think I only cast on six projects maybe, we see. And maybe I also um, record a small video with plans for 2024. Let's see how that works out. Yeah, anyhow, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or remarks, let me know in the comments and I see you next time. Bye.